Oh. All right, sit down. That's a good song. <laughs> All right. <laughs>Hi, I am Craig Jones. And I am Devin Jones. And we are a father-son team, and we are going to review uh, Aquaman today. The long-awaited Aquaman with Jason Momoa. People yeah. have been talking about this movie for a year, you know, people have been crazy. And yeah. we, we're uh, lucky we got to see it early at a special, you know, preview screening, which we normally don't, because we're not, like, real movie critics. Yeah, so was, they don't let us into movies before. We got to wait till you know, we got to pay the money yeah. to go see the movie. It, it was cool. We were, like, sitting in the seats, and there was, like, this big screen of Aquaman, like, saying, like, thanks for coming to the yeah. Aquaman. Because the director was there, and, and yeah. three of the actors were there. Thanks for coming to our special preview, or premiere, or whatever the heck it was. Preview. Special yep. preview of Aquaman. So that was cool. Yep. And I, I enjoyed that. But let's, uh, let me talk to the parents about Aquaman. Aquaman is a beloved DC character. The movie is PG-13, and there's a lot of killing in this movie. A lot of people get killed. Uh, it's really not that gory. There's, there's, a, there's one scene where there is some blood, a little bit. Um, and it is a little like, whoa. But it's not gory. There's just somebody's getting cut in a battle, and, mm. and there's a lot of blood that pours out of him. But it's not like gory. It's just like a... You see, I think they did it on purpose to be like, whoa, he's not supposed to bleed, you know, that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, like, I saw that, like, when he got, like, cut in the back, like, shing, I was yeah, like, whoa! Yeah, but, and, it, <laughs> and it's, it, it's effective. It's done effective, you know? Yeah, um, it's a good scene. But it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of violence. A lot of violence. I mean, there's a lot of action in this movie. Yeah, More there's, than, like, people getting, like, amputated and, like, well, yeah, I don't, water, like, flying I, out I of people. I didn't really see a lot of that, but yeah. there's there's a lot of action scenes more than I thought there would be. I like mean, in it's like, like every five minutes there's an action battle. Like in the first you know. act of the movie, you see a guy get pinned to the wall. Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, true. I mean, it's cool, but, I mean, yeah. But there's a... And, like, at the end with, like, the war thing going on, you see, like, some blood flying yeah, on people there. Yeah, yeah, And some... But there's so many battles. I mean, there was this like battle after battle after battle. Like, every five minutes it seemed like there's a battle yeah. jumping off, people and, fighting. And the movie's fun. yeah. But uh, just to, to, to tell you, the parents, there's there's really uh, there's some swearing too. Aquaman has a potty mouth, and it's funny. Uh, if you don't want your kids seeing their superheroes saying the S word, then you probably shouldn't take them to see this movie. I think there's a part where he's like, "Fuck!" Ah, and they like hit the ground before he can finish it off. I don't remember that. But I think, I think it, it's when they jump out of the plane. I thought he was just going ah. I didn't know he ah. was. But you you may be right. I think so. I mean, they they treat Aquaman. You know, he's not like the old Aquaman of the, of the past. This guy's kind of like a biker. I mean, it's Jason Momoa. He's like so. a biker surfer dude, man. It's just yeah. kind of what he is, and more of a biker, actually. I mean, that, that's with who you know, he he's is. tatted up, and he's you know, because he got like that Samoan part of him, and but we'll get to that. It's it's violent, but it's not really that intense. There are a lot of jump scares in this movie, though. If your kid gets, like, freaked out by jump scares, then they probably shouldn't go see this movie in the theater, maybe at home. Yeah. Like, there are a couple well, times... I didn't expect as many, like, you know, jump scenes like that. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of like... Like, after a second, you kind of, like, expect them to happen. <laughs> yeah, they keep you're coming. sitting there... They keep coming. And it's always, like, when they're just having a calm conversation, I'm like... Boom. You know, yeah, whenever whenever a fight breaks off, it always breaks out with a, <laughs> yeah, a jump explosion or something. Like They're just like, so how you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> just, just the wall just blows up and there's like a bunch of guys rushing through. Right, yeah, exactly. It, it's funny. But, I mean, you know, it's a comic book movie and it really feels like a comic book movie and like what a comic book movie probably should be. DC has a tendency to make these really dark, brooding movies yeah. with no humor in them. But, this but is this not one, that. Yeah. This movie this, has its dark elements, but it's also fun and... and, and yeah, but then, it all, yeah, it has its jokes and yeah. its fun moments, its romantic... Yeah. Family moments and all that. Okay, well, this probably the parent segment's probably done because now we're yeah. talking about the movie. So let me talk a little bit about the movie and what I thought of it. Like he said, it it is fun. I enjoyed watching the movie. Um, I, I, but to me, it's like a this is like a remix of other movies. There's so many other. When I was watching, it, it's like there's a whole lot of ideas from other stories, other movies jammed into this one. Um, like at some some points I was watching. Okay, they that's from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, that's from uh, <laughs> you know uh, th there were just certain elements. I'm like, oh yeah, that that reminds me of this movie. It was always reminding me of other stories. It, it was weird the way they were the way the way it worked. Um, 
Yeah. And I don't I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Like Clash of the Titans, there's a moment, okay, this is Clash of the Titans. And there was just so many things. I was like, you know, I could tell the people who wrote this movie and the director, they've seen a lot of movies because they borrowed from a lot of different kind of stories Which and is movies. kind of, you know, you kind of want your directors to have to watch a yeah, lot of movies so they kind of understand what to do. It was almost to the point of ripoff, though, but it didn't quite get there. So I enjoyed watching the movie. Um, to be honest with you, though, a lot of the story, I just kind of found, like, I'm going along with the ride, but I really didn't care what was going on with a lot yeah. of it. Um, I just was like, eh, all right. You know, but, but, it's, but it's not boring, you know? No. So it, it was just, I just kind of mildly was enjoying myself. But I didn't really get into it. I wanted to, because I like Momoa, you know. Yeah, he's an interesting dude. I like him, and 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 I I like I like every actor in the movie. I just was like, uh. Like he like. For, for me, there was too yeah. much. I never say this because I never really normally feel this way, but too much CGI battles, man. Just too much. After a while, it's like I'm watching a cartoon, you know. And I didn't go to this movie to see a cartoon. I went to see a, a live action movie. There was so much CGI battling going on. And even just normal fight scenes like that aren't underwater, there's a ton of CGI in it. And I was just like, eh, you know. Yeah. But it's filmed beautifully, and it, the colors are amazing. It's shot well. So I, I, I appreciate the movie. I just don't love the movie. That's what it is. Yeah. What do you think of it? I mean, I have mostly the same thoughts, I guess. It was, it, It's fun, but I wouldn't, like... Like into the Spider Verse was a lot better. Okay, let's. <laughs> but, I mean, that's its other thing. I know. So just go I, mean, ahead I need to get off that topic because right, right, right. So right. I get anyway. you. I know. I know. But yeah. So Aquaman, it, it was fun. Like the action scenes, like just constant. Mm -hmm. And there are some parts where like where you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some but, some mean, cold moments where like yeah. you're throwing that. What was that? That what do they call that? The hatch. <laughs> Threw it into that dude. I don't want to spoil it, what? but I mean the hatch on the submarine. They have the hatch. They open the hatch door. Oh, yeah. He kicked off and threw it <laughs> into the guy. That was that was done really nicely. Yeah, that right? seems so pretty cool. He had some cold beat down. I think that's movie, like man. one of the scenes where it's like like hardcore, just like yeah. showing off all the muscles, like <laughs> throwing guys across the room. Definitely with some cold beat downs in this movie. Yeah. It, and I, as an action fan, I appreciate that. You know, yeah. but it's all kind of cartoonish. It's, it doesn't feel like it's a real yeah. It, like it's not like gory when he's yeah. like beating up these people it's not intense there were a couple of little realism issues i had i know you're not really supposed to think about that when you see <laughs> in movies but they were in a room with a bunch of torpedoes and they're blowing stuff up and nothing's wrong the torpedoes are like dropping on the floor they shoot they shoot a grenade at straight at a guy and none of the tor none of the torpedoes blow up there's a grenade that goes off underwater. Yeah, you know, None I, of the torpedoes I didn't blow up. I didn't think about that. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, and, whatever. And I don't know. I don't know the science behind torpedoes and all that. But I mean, <sighs> typically, like if I'm like playing a game and I like shoot a grenade into a room with a bunch of torpedoes, that entire boat's gonna blow up. Yeah, and they were actually able to use that boat later. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, but, How were they able know, to use that boat? There yeah. was a giant hole in the side. Yeah, that was weird. I, I, no, I, I, I didn't I, buy that. I don't that. think that, that was the same that. boat. No, it was a submarine. It was the same thing. I don't think it's the same boat. I think it was a different submarine. No, it was supposed to be the same one. It was? Yeah, because remember Manta? Oh, I'm sorry. We would start telling you the story. We don't want to do that. We'll talk about that after. But okay. let's talk about Manta a little bit. Remember I told you I felt like they were always stealing from other movies a little bit? I hated that I was feeling this because it was cracking me up. I was supposed to be in awe of Black Manta. But when he had his, his big ass helmet on, excuse my language, he sounded like Lord Helmet from Spaceballs when he was talking, the way they did his voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was I'm thinking, dying. I'm laughing because he did. Because yeah, they had him looking sweet. That. He was looking sweet. Yeah. But when he was talking, he sounded like Rick Moranis. And. Oh, <laughs> And I know if if you haven't seen the movie, I probably have spoiled that scene for you now because you're gonna hear me be like, "Yep, that's Lord Helmet, that's Dark Helmet from Spaceball." Yeah, but like, yeah, that, I was thinking that he How did they not know sounded, that when they was like, you know, how did they yeah, not when figure he was that talking? Out? I was like, man. how did they not know that when they when they were editing it? And maybe the dude had who did the 
the sound mix had never seen Spaceballs before, but it definitely yeah. sounded like Lord Helmet. Yeah, if you, you know? haven't seen Spaceballs, you should watch it. It's a a funny. short dude dressed in black with a big helmet sounding like that. How am I not going to be thinking of Lord Helmet? I'm just, I'm just saying. A Black Manta, he looks sweet. He does, and, you know. and he, they did him pretty well. He, yeah. got, he has some cool stuff going on. Yeah, but, but he's not really. But listen, I'll, I'll warn you a little bit. If you want him to be the main villain, he's not. No. He's just kind of there. But when he is there, he's not in it that much. But when he is there, yeah, there, there are some cool fight scenes with yeah, him. Yeah, he has. A, well, one. <laughs> yeah, the but, other one's pretty late. But. but I'm pretty sure that he'll pro- if they make another Aquaman, he'll probably be the main villain next time. Probably because th- this was like low key origin story for Aquaman. I mean, not Aquaman for I mean for Manta. Yeah, for Manta. yeah, kind of more yeah, for him because. Aquaman's already established in this yeah. universe. You know who and, he is. And I mean, Aquaman's Aquaman. Everybody yeah. knows that. Right. They basically give him, give you like a twenty minute backstory, but, just saying like, up, oh, he was born. Yeah, but this is how Aquaman so, I mean, becomes yeah. like the king of Atlantis. So yeah. that's the. You know. So yeah, this is an Aquaman origin story, but not like. Right. I don't know. But yeah, they also gave Manta a little bit of origin in there, and it, it's pretty well, cool. Completely an origin story for him. Yeah, like his yeah. hatred for Aquaman. They t- yeah, they tell you there. why. It's all there. I, one thing I was like, but what is like at the beginning when they're fighting in that submarine? Why is he so fixated on killing Aquaman? Like Aquaman didn't do anything to him. Hubris. Yet. Just because. Just because he heard about him, he wants to, you know, be yeah. the top dog. It's just alpha, I mean, alpha male I mean, stuff. Yeah, they're like pirates, so, you know, trying yeah, to be just the alpha best. Alpha male stuff. Oh, you're, right. you're supposed to be the biggest one. I've been waiting for this. You know that. Yes, that thing. makes sense. But you know, it was yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. You get these jerks <laughs> that want to run the world. But yeah, I you know, other than the Lord Helmet issue, I did have one other oh, issue. Lord. Listen, man, it's and whenever they do that de aging thing, I think they need to stop doing it because it doesn't work the way it, it, it was okay when you use it sparingly sometimes. Like when they like trying to make somebody look yeah, younger. Yeah, because Marvel did it in a few movies where it looked okay, but now like in Ant Man, I remember it looked horrible. Yeah, because their this, face was just flat. There was like no texture. This to is it. the worst I've ever seen. My man who played Django. Django Fett. I can't remember his name he's in in real life. I love him though. He's a great actor. I know who you're talking he about. He play he plays Aquaman's dad. Yeah. He looked like a straight up Ken doll for the first you he, know, yeah, half the movie, it, man. He I was does like, look Dude, weird. just stop, man. He looked plastic. And Nicole Kidman, you don't even need to she just looks good. You don't really yeah. need she looks young, man. You don't really need to do that to her. Yeah. You know, you can just put some makeup on or something. Maybe they should get back to I don't know, maybe they don't know how to use makeup to make people look young, but Maybe a little less on the CG on the CG side of things, man. I don't know. Yeah, this movie is just so CGI heavy. I just felt like like maybe it relied too much on that. And 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 I'm not one of those guys who's anti CGI. I like it. You know, I think it's great what we can do. Huh? It rhymed. Oh, I did. I rhymed. Anti CGI. Poet and didn't know it, huh? But yeah, I'm I'm not an anti technology guy. Shut up, man. Oh, Let me say what I've got to say, man. You so we can, we, you're dragging this video out. I know. Stop it. I'm not an anti technology dude, okay? <clears throat> Look, no rhymes in that sense. I'm not an anti technology dude. I'm just saying maybe if they make another one, maybe focus a little more on the human element because you do have some real interesting characters here and you don't need a fight every five minutes. But. Awesome. I can't believe I'm saying I don't want you to have a fight every five minutes because, you know, I want to see fights. Yeah. But maybe not so much CGI fights. Maybe people really duking it out and not enhanced by so much computer imagery. Whatever. Yeah. It's, a, it's a minor gripe, though. I enjoyed the fight scenes. I enjoyed the movie. I liked it. It was fun. So I'm just going to say for my verdict, I'm, I'm not going to give it quite the bomb diggity because I have too many problems with it. So I'm going to say it's worth the popcorn. Cause it's good. I would, you know, and I, I'd probably wait to see it in a matinee. I don't know if I spend full price for this, but um, it's definitely worth seeing on a big screen. I think it's got a lot of uh, potential, and if you just want to turn your mind off for a few hours, it, it's fun. What do you think? I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing. I, I thought it was worth the popcorn when I was like, cause yeah, it's fun, it's good, but it's not great. Yeah. Like I, I don't have a big problem with the movie. Just it's not 
I mean, recently DC has been messing up some of this stuff. My expectations have lowered a bit with their movies. Uh, you know, that depends on who you talk to, but yeah, I'm kind of yeah. in the same camp. I'm not a big fan of about half the half the like, DC movies. I feel some like of DC. Liked, but, you know. I feel like DC needs to just reboot again, but make well, it actually good this time. They can't though, because Wonder Woman kicked butt at the box office, so that yeah, needs like, to stay. Like, like that's one of the good and, movies that they and made. And Aquaman. I'm imagining it's probably going to do pretty well. Yeah. It's a crowd pleaser. You know, there were some moments where people laughed and clapped, you know, some crowd pleasing moments. So it'll probably do pretty yeah. well. There's just some. And Shazam is probably going to do well, too. So they can't really rewrite everything. You yeah, know? But like can't Superman. Hey, this, let's not just don't get into it, man. It's like people either love those movies or hate them, you know, and, you know, we're in the hating ilk of those of Superman and BVS. But. I don't want to get so into many all that. Problems with that movie. Listen, I don't want to get into that because then I got friends that'll argue with me for like hours on that stuff, and I don't. Most of my friends agree. <laughs> well, you know, so, I mean, these are movies, and it's subjective. You either like them or you don't, and it doesn't really matter. Don't let anybody tell you not to like a movie. If you like it, like it. If you hate it, hate it. It's it's your decision, you know. So that was Ocu uh, uh, Ocu Man. <laughs> Occupy. <laughs> that was Aquaman. We saw it at an early premiere. And you know, audience reaction is is uh is important, and the audience seemed to really be liking the movie. I thought they yeah. were laughing and clapping and ho hooting and hollering, and having a good time. Especially the woman next to me, I think she was just uh, there for Jason. Yeah, I think yeah, she I was think, just really liking the Momoa. Yeah, every the, every little thing she said, oh, <laughs> that's like he ain't here to hear you. You know, <laughs> you ain't impressing my man. I feel like a lot of the people. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like there's going to be, like, theaters full of a bunch of chicks just going there to see him. <laughs> they don't even know who Aquaman is. They're I just will, like, ooh, Jason, I'm going to go. I will be real. I have, at, at one of these DC or Marvel flicks, I have never seen so many middle-aged women going to see a movie. Yeah. By themselves. Like, like girls. Like, a, like you see this middle-aged group of women going to see this movie without a dude or a child around. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think. Yeah. I think you know. there's a lot, a lot of people going here just to see Jason. Yeah, and you know the guy's got charisma, man. He's yeah. he's got something. Yeah, but I really, uh, you know, I used to watch him on Game of Thrones. He wasn't on there very long. I'm oh, sorry, spoilers, but when he was, was he called? Yeah, he was called. You know, but he was Drago or whatever his name is. But he was good when he was on there. You know, before he croaked. Sorry, sorry. It's funny because just earlier today, I what's the one guy's name? John, I think. Like the guy who was like a meme or whatever. The dude that talked about the winter's coming or whatever. That guy. Oh, Jon Snow. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a video earlier today where it was Jon and Toothless. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I saw it, that. Yeah, that's, that was, that was dope. I like that. That was funny. I enjoyed that a lot. What's that his was name? Cool. Like Kit? Kit. Yeah, Kit yeah. Harrington, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, we're, we're, cool. we're not talking about Aquaman anymore. Yeah, yeah now we're just rambling. But that actually is kind of what the movie's like. You leave out of there, oh, that was okay. Then you immediately start talking about something else because yeah. it's not that engaging. But it's well made. It's a lot of fun. And there's a lot of, you know, good looking people to look at. That woman, Amber Heard, maybe, yeah. plays the woman. Not, not too hard on the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a little bit of a pretty woman there. So, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to watch, you know. Yeah. I liked it. I, you know what? I, I will give this movie credit there, you know, because of course you know there's going to be a romance between those two. But I thought it was handled pretty well, man. You know, the it, it just sort of yeah, the romance between those two it just kind of grew, you know, yeah. it grew slowly. And then you know when it, you know that big moment, that big final romantic moment between the two, I thought it was handled well. You know, you got this yeah. big battle, and he's just kind of like, what am I supposed to do? Because <laughs> he's you know. He's like a big kid in this movie. He's just easily yeah. sidetracked. And I like it. You know, and there's a bar scene in the beginning of the movie that I thought was done really well. I'm not going to yeah. give it away, but it was that, pretty that, funny. That, that was pretty funny. Yeah, I, I like the movie, man. I did. I like the, the I like the romance between the parents, too. I like the way that was handled. I thought yeah. that, that was effective. It worked. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit, I felt it. I was feeling it, man. Near the end, when they, they do what they do, I was like, aw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I enjoyed the movie, man. I just I didn't love it. One thing I did not expect is for there to be like these dinosaurs flying around. Oh, you just gave it away. I did not expect that. Well, they sort of showed dinosaurs in the preview, so. But I mean, I didn't say anything about. It. I just said that there's dinosaurs in the movie. Yeah, that was a little. Again, 
Journey to the Center of the Earth, borrowing yeah. from another movie. I'm telling you, man, this movie just got a bunch of other movies put into it, but it's like a remix. It's like yeah. a good, it's like, you know what? It's like if the director, Juan, I think his name is, James Juan or something like that, it's like he's a really good DJ. And he's just taking all a bunch of these other songs and mixing them you all together. DJ? DJ, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and gets all these stuff together and he's just mixing and having a good time. And, you know, like a good DJ will take a bunch of music, put it all together and create something new. And I think that's kind of what now this I'm cat did. I'm picturing a guy like, like with some filming more like. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what the movie reminded me. It was like a mega mix of you yeah. know, other flicks. But, you know, it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Didn't love it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We didn't really. T we're this like Yuletide cheer here, man. We didn't really say it about it in this video because we did on the last one, but we're just trying so, to spread so, Christmas cheer. So we say what we said last time. No, no, nah, nah, we're for the watch okay. the watch the Spider Man yeah. video. You want to hear our Christmas greeting? We are working on a Christmas video. Hopefully, we will get that done. It's like a music video. I just, we're trying to do all kinds of things with animation and stuff. So hopefully, we get it done. If we don't, you'll see it next year. <laughs> but other than that, uh, if you like what we're doing. Smash like, punch subscribe, tap the bell. Oh, that was really enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Know, it's uh, getting old doing this stuff. I never wanted to do it in the first place, but that was your thing. So We should just do it at the beginning of the video and get it over with. Yeah, I told you that. But I you know. were like, no, wait till the end, wait till the end. I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, I don't even, yeah. At the beginning, we, we don't just, care if you subscribe or yeah. not. Just thanks for, thanks we just for watching. We just say that just because... These yeah. videos are mainly for the parents to let you know what's in these movies. It means a lot to us for you people that watch it. Right. Yeah. It, it really does. Well, let's sign off from Artsy Home Movies. We hope you have a great holiday season. And uh, if you go see Aquaman, we hope you dig it.